Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another tutorial. Um, as you can see, I've got a Fortnite loading screen in front of, in front of me. And um, this kind of loading screen is going to be used for a live streamer. Like as you can see here in the top left, stream starting up. Um, I decided to make sort of like a uh, template that you guys can download and edit and then use for your own streams. Um, because I thought a full tutorial would be a little too long and uh, yeah. I don't know, I just spent some time on making this template so you guys can use it really quick and easily. Um, so I'm going to uh, explain how to use this template. Uh, first of all, check the download link in the description. I have provided uh, everything. Um, you just want to open the project AEP and then it's going to be opened in After Effects as you can see. And then you can properly save it everywhere on your PC if you want. Um, so I'm going to break down this file. And of course, there's uh, um, the project consists out of like a few text layers, some shape layers, uh, and a few uh, precompositions. Precompositions are basically like projects inside of projects, just like there are uh, smart objects that you can open in Photoshop. So we're gonna open this uh, precomposition that's called background. We're gonna open it, and as you can see, there is different. There are a few different wallpapers you can use. I personally like this one a lot, so I'm just going to use this. I like this one, by the way. Let's let's switch to this one. Um, so you just turn it on and hide the rest of the layers. So we're gonna close this. I'm happy with my thing. Um, then we're going to sidebar. As you can see, nothing special. We're just gonna leave that as it says here. Leave. Um, same as the main text here. Also says leave. You just want to leave that. You don't want to touch anything about that. Um, then there is a yellow shape, yellow shape change. As you can see, you can open this and then up here, you can click on the text tool and you can change your name. So I'm going to type in Verizon FX. Uh, if it's not really centered, just center it a little bit with the arrow keys or something. And uh, you don't have to save anything. After Effects does it automatically. So you can just close it again. And as you can see, it gets updated. Um, then there is a blue shape you can change. Uh, as you can see, there's some stuff here. Uh, I would just leave this. Uh, text is really basic. You can change it if you want. Just click on the text tool again and start typing. Um, just leave the shape as it is. Uh, but if you don't want any of those, you, you can choose not to have any of those. You can just hide them both. It's not necessary, but I personally like it. Um, then there's the main text, of course. Uh, I've kind of sorted it like from uh, up to down. As you can see, let's just click on the hide button and reveal this, uh, create a code, then there's some text. Uh, everything is just a text layer, so you can really easily edit it, like use code Verizon. I don't have a support uh, create a code, by the way, so don't worry, don't use that. It doesn't even work, I think. Um, but as you can see, you can just edit everything. And there's like the bullet point from the real thing. Uh, the bullet points are in the sidebar composition. As you can see, you can you can change them up if you want, but I don't know. I would just leave them there. Uh, social media, you can just leave that as it is as well. Notifications, uh, you can also just uh, change this text, uh, change the uh, heading and then the bottom text as well. I don't mind, as you can see, it's all just text layers. I can put like something funny something there uh doesn't really matter and then uh as last we have the loading bar oh shit uh there's a loading bar here uh, which is basically a shape layer without a fill it's just a line with a stroke of 15 pixels and then what i did is i animated the three uh, the trim pads so as you can see it uh, goes up to 10 seconds and then it just resets so the composition keeps playing after 10 seconds like replaying after t every 10 seconds and then the last thing of course as you already seen um there's marshmallow in it it's really easy i don't know it doesn't really look that good the quality but it's not too bad i don't know you can use it it's for a stream so people won't probably notice um what i did for this i just went to youtube i typed in fortnite character dancing and then green screen after it so what you get is you get this um, you get just a little character dancing um, then you go want to go to effects you want to type in key and you want to just drop key light like 2 on it pick this screen color take the green and just mess around with the screen gain setting over here uh, until you're happy with like if I put it at 110 these weird edges will be removed so that's what I did uh, I just scaled it up 
put it as you can see under the sidebar and put it in here uh, then the last thing what i did as you can see it's a little bit cut off and here it goes through already um what i did is i basically uh looked where he has this exact same pose and then as you can see it's the exact same so it's kind of a loop the loading thing just begins over it doesn't really matter but the dancing is a loop so it doesn't look weird and like it's cut off and shit uh so if you're done with that you just want to go to composition add to render queue uh just copy these settings 30 fps leave this as it is as well um you want to go here you want to go click on quicktime if you don't have quicktime you have to install quicktime first it is a very nice render engine thing render codec shit um then you want to click on format make sure this is set to h264 uh, and that's basically it and then you just want to save your project everywhere you want um so yeah that's basically it i hope you enjoyed i hope you are uh you can use this project and also you can use this project to learn a bit. Um, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.